First time I did that, I fell face first. Mitchell! Ah! It's <laughs> over. <laughs> the first time we did Ariana Grande was so breathtaking because it was the first time we, I think I've ever done a crazy hair and makeup process like that. We showed the writers and all of my castmates flipped out because Ariana was something that we were all looking forward to and seeing how it was done. And it was just so much fun. I like it, I want it, I bought it, I got it, yeah. We had maybe 30, 40 minutes to do the entire Ariana Grande makeup, hair process, wardrobe. We made it. We made it. So I went on set and as soon as I stepped on set, I forgot all my lines. And um, I was super nervous. And in the scene, actually, you can see me kind of fidgeting with my nails, because that was actually real, because I was so nervous that I started to fidget with the fake nails. And then while I was walking up the stairs, because you know I make an entrance, I go, yo, first thing into the scene. First time I did that, I fell face first. Hold on, you're She's okay. super smooth. I am okay. Let's go again. <laughs> Let me just try to like, uh, say things that Ariana would like. I really try to get to make sure I have that voice down and my impression down, and then make sure I have all the mannerisms. Ariana always kind of like has her chin up, left side's always showing, and she is always having this her sweater like that, stuff like that, oversized sweater, and uh, she's always doing that with her head too ponytail but really once again to wardrobe makeup hair it's just like it's really instinctual now yo <coughs> it's story time with ariana <laughs> i've read it i read it a story can't beat it yo well, the Kardashians actually was my inspiration for Red Beauty Brunch because my guilty pleasure has to be watching reality TV shows like the Kardashians, The Real Housewives, The Beverly Hills. That one hits hard. I really want to be walking before I hit the big one. The big one what? You know, the big... One? <laughs> I'm turning one in six months. <gasps> Goals. My pet peeve. I really don't like the little like tsk, 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 noise. Scratching on like chalkboards really makes me cringe too. Uh, I don't like walking under ladders and that's really hard because we have a lot of ladders on set so I'm constantly like trying to find different ways to weave in and out but you know, I end up walking under them all the time but that's one thing I don't like. Favorite foods? I like uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti is really nice and soups and salads are cool and anything chocolate except for white chocolate and caramel. Caramel is like way too sticky and then white chocolate just has a weird taste for me. I usually just like to chill and um, maybe go to the movies, hang with friends, family. But since I'm really like busy during the week, I like to just relax and slow down for a second and prepare for the next week. Favorite part, being with these guys, hair, makeup, the cast, everybody. It's just so much fun and such a blessing. Uh, probably the craziest one was rocket shoes for Mr. Longcoat because I had this ginormous like hat. There wasn't so much hair, there was more wardrobe. Great, and I can rocket us into the sky to save you. Yeah! Um, let's see what else. I have Miss Beyonce knows. Come on down to Bed Bath & Beyonce, cause these sales are flawed. And then I have, uh, let's see, literally Liza. I literally peed my pants. Citizens! Look away from Darla! She's made a whoopsie in her pants, and there is urine all over the floor! Liza! I did not pee my pants. Look at the floor! There's nothing there! <laughs> Me and my mop will leave. Uh, Alicia the barista. Coffee, 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 coffee! 
we do so much here. Ooh, the explosion in Marie Kiddo was something because we had to smoke up my hair to make it look like I actually like got hit by an explosion. But every time I would move more and more smoke would come out. So we'd have to like wait for like 30 minutes for the smoke to die down, then do something else. But that was, that was unbelievable. Who was my celebrity crush? Uh, I like Chris Hemsworth and Jordan Fisher. They're always super cool. But my first celebrity crush, this is weird. I was eight years old and I had a ginormous crush on Will Smith. So that's fun fact about me. <laughs> hey, so what's up, y'all? It's your boy Kel Mitchell. You already know what's going down. Turn it into Coach Creighton. I'm super excited. I love this character. I mean, I remember the first time I did this character, uh, they had wrote a, a, a coach that was very upset all the time. And I had a coach in high school that was very upset all the time. He used to scream at us. He's like, Mitchell! So I used that voice and uh, yeah, man, it took off. People love Coach Creighton. I, you know, I get to yell at the kids and do a lot of physical comedy. Pretty crazy. I'm about to go scare some little children and tell them about winning. Da, you crazy little children. Oh, and I want y'all to meet my brother. This is my brother. <laughs> da, <laughs> this is not all my hair. So don't think Coach Creighton lost his hair. We're getting it together. <laughs> He's not just gonna have a little, little hair right here. It'd be funny though, but. <laughs> uh, becoming bald, you have to put on a bald cap, okay? So that took, takes about 45 minutes, you know, just to get it right. It's a good bald cap. You don't want it to uh, lift up and then people see that you have a fake bald cap. So <laughs> uh, it's awesome. It takes, you do that, then you put your makeup on, match the bald cap with your makeup, face skin, if that makes sense. Face skin, yeah, that's a word. And then this tooth is gonna go away. Gonna black out this tooth, it's gonna go away. Yeah. And then I got my eyebrows gray, and then you gotta talk like this. Da! Ah! Special memories. Uh, his, okay, so usually Coach Creighton is always at the gym or something like that with the kids, but uh, they had one where he had, a, yeah, Coach Creighton had a blind date, and uh, it was with uh, Kim Whitley, who is an uh, awesome comedian actress. Uh, and it was a fight scene and he burned his hand and it was one of my favorite uh, Coach Cretans because it's, it's super hilarious. Roll the tape. <laughs> Coach Cretan is back. All right, he's back at Dolmont Junior High and uh, Josh is in. Josh Server, everybody. Yeah, and he's playing a really nice, super nice coach. He tells the kids it's all about the fun, but Coach Creighton is all about the winning, no matter what. Okay, team, it's almost game time. Let's remember the most important thing is to have fun. Nah, 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 nah. The most important thing is to destroy the other team. No, but be thoughtful and kind. Nah, 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 nah. be aggressive and ruthless. But remember, they're human beings with feelings and emotions too. That's it, kill them, kill them all. Kill them, kill them. The screen I think is the most physical. And uh, so I work out a lot so I can stay in shape. So I can roll downstairs uh, and also uh, climb up some trophy cases and getting trophy cases thrown on me. Balls thrown, and just all kind of crazy stuff is gonna happen. You guys gotta watch it, you're gonna love it. It's classic Coach Creed. Oh, the life I live is sad. <laughs> Wanna see more videos like this? Like and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the All That official YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a new video.